Bonjour. Hello, my name is Mirella Aoun. I'm an agronomist and researcher for the Center of Expertise and Technology Transfer to Organic Agriculture, based at the Cégep of Victoriaville, Quebec. Today we are visiting the Verger des Frères, which is a research orchard managed by CITAB. I'm going to describe for you one of the organic science cluster research projects taking place here, which is testing exclusion nets for the production of organic apples in eastern Canada. This research has several components. CTAB is responsible for managing one component of this research project, which is being led by Gérald Chouinard of IRDA of St. Bruno. Apple production in eastern Canada contends with many pests and diseases, which makes the task of producing apples organically even more difficult. And so it's for this reason that we are testing the use of exclusion nets as a physical control for apple pests, preventing their damage without having to use any insecticide. For our organic science cluster research project, for the research involving CITAB, we are using this thin fabric made by Dubois, which has a weave spacing of one by two millimeters as part of the research protocol. Because exclusion nets can keep out insects, but do not necessarily have an impact on the fungal development that can cause apple diseases, we wanted to test the application of fungicides through the nets. We are testing to see if the nets intercept these fungicidal applications which are approved for organic production systems and also to see if these applications would affect the integrity of the nets in a noticeable way including their usefulness in excluding insects. So we are also testing to see if the nets create a microclimate to that end, we are collecting climate data both within and outside the nets to compare the difference, which permits us to see if this microclimate might have an effect on the development of fungi that lead to apple diseases, notably apple scab. In Europe, where this technique was developed, take for example the Alt Carpo group in France, there are many orchards using these nets. The use of exclusion nets there has been extremely successful for controlling coddling moth. Eastern Canadian organic apple producers must figure out how, without recourse to any conventional pest control substances, to control many difficult pest problems, such as plum curculio, and insects, which pose a huge challenge in apple production, such as apple maggot, apple sawfly, and other pests. Therefore, the exclusion net technique shows promising potential for apple producers, for organic apple producers. This technique should also be of interest to growers using integrated pest management for situations in which there has been an introduction of foreign pests, which have become invasive, and also in terms of having an alternative option to turn to in the face of pest resistance to certain insecticides, as well as to have a pest control option that does not require the use of any insecticide. We are also performing economic analyses to assess the sustainability of this practice and identify if this will be a cost-effective pest control solution for apple producers.